All right, guys, we are back on the 68 Camaro. Um, so one of the things we talked about amongst ourselves here is uh, we're getting rid of this firewall. It's aluminum. It's cool. It's doing the job, but it's got a few too many holes in it. And I like that idea. It's been riveted. And it also doesn't clean up all that great. So we're going to pull this out and we're going to get a new laser cut firewall. So uh, let's work on that. the firewall is out uh, aluminum firewall so we're gonna replace that like we talked about but a little bit of a pain in the neck there um, there's a few things here that are gonna be in the way when we go to put it back in that there's a ground over here and I know that wasn't pretty taking it out believe me uh, this little bolt right here is gonna have to come off so we can get the new one in and slide it in uh, we're gonna have to do a little TLC to some of this stuff down there but uh, check it out that is the original OEM paint uh, right there so that's pretty cool a little wiper mount hole but uh, you can see it's inside the fenders inside inside the uh, body there so that would have been that factory color was that yellow we painted the roll cage this color that was not like that before but definitely uh, this was a yellow car from the factory it sure appears that way I don't think anybody's had it apart that much so um, now we got to restructure reinforce and clean this mess up um, that's enough for today though we got that out it's over here on the floor still got the gas pedal connected to it right there we'll get that off of that so but uh, that's the inside of it by the way so this panel is a patch and uh, we don't want the patch in there it's just kind of ugly and just i mean looking at this thing i mean you can almost see you can almost see through it there's so many holes in it so we're gonna uh I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's put it down over here, look at it. There we go, it's upside down, but you can see it's been there a while. Not the nicest. I tried to polish it and this stuff, all this stuff is, a lot of it we don't even use, so. I don't want holes in the firewall. We don't want holes in the firewall in a dry car. We don't like that. Hot oil, hot water, fire, fuel. All kinds of things can get through those holes. So we're gonna seal this up 
so there's nothing can get from here into the driver's compartment all that easily so that's part of the project but for now i think we're good we're coming along this thing's making progress so uh with all the wiring out now and all that stuff and uh, i know brit will be back uh to work on it on monday i just figured i'd come in and do a little extra work here today it is a beautiful day outside probably can't see it probably gets dark when i do that but it's beautiful out it is january and i'm gonna come outside here it's one of our race trailers sitting over there kind of come outside a little but uh you can see it's a sunshiny day with piles of snow but it's all melting so that's good the guys are working on the other side of the building on other projects over there i'm over here where it's quiet in the race shop so kind of nice uh one of the other things we gotta do is we gotta get this back window out we get all new windows coming um these have screws that hold them in place every one of those has got a nut on the inside so <laughs> someone's gonna have to crawl up inside the back of a car which is harder than it looks and uh get that out of there i mean you gotta get like gotta get it up in there and there's a lot of structure in there to climb around so a little bit of a pain in the neck but we'll get that out this window has just seen better days uh the far side of it over there is uh I don't know what happened here, but somebody spilled something on this. I'm not sure. I mean, it's really bad. It's delaminating. I mean, you know, it just doesn't look good. And so, uh, new window, new quarter glass coming in for here. Uh, the new doors will be coming in, and those have new uh, poly glass with them. Took the whole. Uh, the whole dashboard out of this car and, and we kind of like it that way um more leg room easier for her to get in and out so we're going to move the gauges over to the right a little bit and uh we're not putting that dashboard back in we're going to leave that out so there's a little more room for her to work in this car get, especially getting it out so that's a big help she won't bang her knees on it won't get hung up on it uh, we're going to recover this dashboard so you can see it's got some holes in it uh we're going to get rid of that too so that's going to get changed up but all in all She's a really good car. It's over 50 years old. And I'd uh, be curious to know who bought this at the factory and kind of what they were like when it was new, um, who drove it. But uh, I have yet to find any kind of vehicle identification number on here, and I, and I doubt we will. Uh, there isn't anything left of that. So maybe there's something on the frame. I forget where they are on the frames of these cars. I think in the back somewhere or whatever. I'll have to look it up. But uh, there's nothing here. There's nothing stamped into any of this metal. It's a little squirrely right there. We'll have to hammer that all in. Uh, but we'll reinforce this a little bit and get some nice sheet aluminum laser cut. Oh, yeah. There we go. Motorcycles are out. Look like an enduro. So hope they're being careful in the sand. A few more things to come out. Fuel line's got to come out. Um, there's a return light in there. That's going to go. This old bracket can come off. That's the old regulator mount. That's going to get sawed off. That can go somewhere else. Uh, and it is going to go somewhere else. I didn't like this thing. It's kind of sharp. That's why I taped it over. So um, Overall, though, we're, uh, we're in good shape. This will go back together pretty quick once the parts start coming in. So... Uh, Ordered a whole bunch of stuff the other day. Going to order some more this week. And parts will start flowing back in. Uh, engine should be back here by the end of next week. So uh, we'll have to do a lot to get ready to pop that back in. But I think we'll probably uh, do a bunch of body work first before we bother doing that. And uh, get this thing uh, on its way. So there we go. She's coming along. Uh, from the Renegade Rides Garage. I'm going to bid you guys adieu for the day. And uh, we'll be back the new video pretty soon a couple days later